You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 40 of the Clock Cleaners podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're talking about Superstar Shake Up Round 2. Yeah. Because on I, SmackDown they announced that it was still continuing throughout the night oh my because God. we saw Jinder move over, right? Yeah. Um, Andrade, Zelina, Alistair Black. Yep. Um, was Chad Chad Gables announced to be on SmackDown, or he never was officially? Announced? I think so because I think they split up one tag team, and I think it was that one. Oh uh, well, Sanity got split up too. They split up two tag teams, and I'm pretty sure they referenced that one. <laughs> All right, I'm almost positive that they did. Yeah, it was one of those like they showed the graphic of all the people that came over, and he was one of them. Because I don't think technically um, Killian Dane is affiliated with the brand. Um, did he show up? Oh, no, Alexander Wolf showed up on NXT UK. Yeah, but, my, like, I know that they said that Eric Young was going to Raw. Raw yeah. I don't think that they established that Killian Dane was going anywhere. No. I think he was just staying on SmackDown. He's hanging out with Luke Harper in, uh, just... Purgatory? Purgatory, yeah, yeah. exactly. I, I would imagine that he'll get some kind of push, though. That's probably why they split him up. Would make sense. Yeah, because I don't think it, Young is in for a push. No, and I mean, that's a guy you could utilize on SmackDown if you have Lars and someone like, you know? Even it's Roman true. just it's has true. another big guy. Because yeah. outside of a few guys, you don't really have not a, a, not a whole lot of much. options. Um, so you did not catch the entire Raw. You I, watched the diluted I, version. I watched on, three matches and a couple of backstage segments. And Oh, but they showed the Sami Zayn thing. The yeah. completely waste of time. And you missed the best part. No. Whatever. One of the best parts of Raw. Which was? Robert Roode and his new mustache. Really? Yes. He, he called himself like, that? Oh, yeah. He's Robert Roode now. <laughs> he's, got, <laughs> he's got like the 70s porn stash. Of course. And, oh, my God. I saw so many memes on uh, Twitter of them referencing um, that episode of The Simpsons when... Uh, Homer is on the uh, softball team, and Mr. Burns tells Mattingly to cut his sideburns, and he's just got the mustache, and it was good stuff. But yeah, he beat Ricochet. Uh, so I'm hoping he... Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, there was so... I mean, honestly, this is the best thing that he's done in his entire main roster It's It's run. true. And I... <laughs> now that I think about it, I, I forgot that he always had the goatee. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I thought he was clean shaven, no, so no, he had no. to grow the mustache. Yeah. So he just cut everything off. Else off. Opinion. Robert Roode is the best thing to have happened by the superstar <laughs> shakeup. Um, so, I mean, I will give WWE credit. Oh it doesn't happen often, but they made this match because I guess when Bobby Roode and Chad Gable lost to Ricochet and Aleister Black... Uh, Bobby Roode had attacked Ricochet from behind, so Ricochet yeah. wanted retribution. So you set something up. That's true. That's it. That's that's all he has. And for. something that would have otherwise been completely inconsequential. Right. Right. I mean, why Andrade went to SmackDown? We did say that was just a mystery. Um, there was obviously backstage reasons. Oh, a couple, probably. a couple of legitimate ones. Yeah. Um, although one of them could have been resolved by just moving Charlotte to raw and then not having to move three other people yeah i guess that's true um <laughs> which is very funny but you know yeah because they had to move andrade to smackdown to be with charlotte and <laughs> since andrade um i mean since selena vega's with andrade they had to move alistair black to smackdown and, yeah uh but so. i think that creates new opportunities i think ricochet and I, alistair black i don't was... i don't think that Rey mysterio and andrade should have both gone to the same show that's fair and i don't think alistair black should have stayed on raw so they should have done this to begin with yeah it's true so i, I like it's just it's just weird um so we had two triple threat matches the winners of those two matches we're going to face at the end of Raw, and the winner of that match will face Seth Rollins at Money in the Bank. Yep. And guess what happened another time? Corbin main evented <laughs> Raw. <laughs> you have the two best wrestlers in the company, Baron Corbin on Monday Night Raw and Shane McMahon on SmackDown. That's something. Yeah. <laughs> something. And the ratings were both very terrible this week. Yeah, it's not going to stop. No. Um, so, yeah, the first match was Joe versus Ray versus AJ Styles. Um, AJ won that. Of course. He should have. 
Um, the other one. Interesting finish. Oh, <laughs> yeah. AJ AJ takes Rey Mysterio and power bobs him onto Joe, <laughs> and then he hits a Styles Clash onto onto Joe. Him, onto Joe. <laughs> um, I don't, why did they have him pin Joe? I I, I know why they did but because I mean, Joe is there to take the pin. Yeah, but it's another champion. It's like takes, his catch line. I, I get it, but a champion taking the pin. Granted, it wasn't you know anything revolving around the U.S. title or anything like it's that. It's true. You had both Billy Kay and Peyton Royce get beat in mere minutes because Billy Kay got beat on Raw by uh, Naomi. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know that uh, and half, Peyton Royce and uh, Peyton, fought Kyrie Sane on right, uh, SmackDown. On SmackDown. Um, just little things. Yeah. Well, I mean, the see, Iconics, are, they're going to be that tag team that loses all the singles matches but and then wins the, the tag matches, matches at the, the pay-per-views. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. For however they do it, but that is going to be the mm-hmm. case. Yeah. Because they, they're... Chicken they're, shit heels. Yes, because they're not built to be strong. They're built yeah. to... Because they survive. I don't know. They yeah. they are very entertaining still. They are. Though. They are. So. Uh, then we had Miz versus Baron Corbin versus Drew McIntyre. Um, I had called the finish of this match. Yeah. I was a little disappointed. You wanted the Miz to win, probably. I did, but I would have been okay with Drew. I as was well. like, oh, God, here we go. Drew well, versus AJ wouldn't have been bad. No, well, but it would have been the possibility of Drew versus Seth. Again, that is true. That would be scary. Which was one of the things we complained about. Yeah, it's true. If Seth won the title. But, yeah. Um, so. I like the finish of this one. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, good. It made it made sense. Mm-hmm. That the, was the it, right. The way Miz to do looked it. strong still, mm-hmm. which is weird. Well, the face going against two heels. Yeah, so. very weird. And he held his own mm-hmm. like quite well. Um, but yeah, Drew Claymore is the Miz, and then Baron just runs in and throws him out of the ring and pins Miz. Yeah. So Baron Corbin's going to the main event of Raw oh, again. Yeah, again. <laughs> we got to get a tally on that. We, yeah. I, I got it. I'm sure we can get something. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Corbin versus AJ was the main event. Like five hundred thousand people tuned out between the. Uh, I don't blame him. It was might have been four hundred and then five. You, like it, it was a huge drop. Everyone knew that AJ was going to win. Mm, yeah, yeah. AJ. Everyone knew at the beginning of the night that AJ yeah, was going to win. And here's the thing: I, like a lot of people were complaining that they're already doing it too early and things like that. Doing this what? Is having AJ versus Seth because you know it's a dream match. Or How whatever. long do they think that AJ is going to be around? Well, it, there's truth to that one. Um, but you could do a number of things here. You could have, you know, because. I would assume they're probably going to turn AJ heel. Um, De- also mm, depend. No, mm. you don't think so? I feel like they were hinting a little bit at it. After the f- he, the the first match is going to be face first face. That is for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, after that, I think that what's going to happen is Seth's going to get cashed in on mm-hmm. after he retains the title at Money in the Bank, and then whoever whoever like that is aj will go after yeah that's possible um my other thought is that similar to what happened at hell in a cell brock lesnar comes back and screws up the main you know the title match and then we end up having a triple threat going into SummerSlam. i know it's a little ways away but that's fine i like that idea that could work um and then there's I think there's two papers. There's probably two papers. Well, ba- they're doing backlash in June. They okay, so backlash is. But it got moved to the 23rd. Okay, I think, and then like Extreme that. Rules is in July. Mm-hmm. So. Don't figure out something for those. Yeah. I mean, well, how many how many shows did they book without the Universal Championship a on lot, it anyway? A lot. No, well, my thought is they probably should have. I don't like the idea of having a cash in this early, especially because Seth just won the title. Yeah. But he doesn't He doesn't need it, I don't think. It doesn't really benefit him. Yeah. So if you can establish, like, a up-and-coming heel. And I think that's really what Money in the Bank this year is oh, going to do. Oh, no. What? It could be Lars Sullivan. Shit. Because he's been floating between shows, right? Uh, he's on SmackDown. Oh, he's on SmackDown? Yes. Okay, so it can't be him. Why? <clears throat> Because I don't think I don't think they'll go that way with Kofi. Um, I think Kevin Owens is probably gonna be in the title picture for a little while. Yeah, I guess that's true. So even if he doesn't win at Money in the Bank, he'll be in it. Mm-hmm. I feel like whoever wins Money in the Bank is going after Seth. Probably because they talked about it on Raw. Because Seth's like, oh well, I know what it's like to cash in and be cashed right. in. Right. So that's kind of like foreshadowing, saying like 
That's true. Um, there, there is truth to that. Or nothing could happen with it. It's possible. Yeah. Um, but I don't really see them making AJ a heel again because it doesn't. He's. If they drag out the program, he, but he's gonna, too over. I know. I know that's kind of silly to say. Yeah. But it's everyone's gonna cheer him anyway. That's true. So it's kind of like the John Cena thing, where like they're kind of afraid to do it, or you would think that. You know. <sighs> Which well, is just going to have to be one of those wait and see. I guess so. That's it. Yeah. Um, Plus, Revival versus the Usos. Seems like it's going to happen. Oh, I was going to say, did that happen? No, or Okay, because they, they had the match. backstage yeah. segment. I saw that. But that that was good. I like, you know, at least we're doing this. Yeah. You know, I don't want them to jump, you know, all the way into a match already. And then it's like, oh. Because these guys, both teams have shown that they can put on a hell of a match. And this is a match I was looking forward to with the Usos coming over. From SmackDown to Raw, I'm yeah. still surprised that uh, the tag titles are on Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. Even well, though they it won't do be anything. for long. Uh, we saw no Heavy Machinery this week. I don't know if they are on SmackDown or Raw. Probably, mm, actually, it doesn't. There's no way to tell because they were floating. Well, they actually did add names to the list I, on the Superstars page. Mm-hmm. Um, Another notable thing, they removed Ronda Rousey from the banner on Monday Night Raw. Well, she's going to be out for a year or so anyway. So. That's what you had said. I didn't read any reports for the length of injury. Yeah, I, I thought I had heard that the, just the hand injury itself is going to be um, almost 10 months or something like that. Which is very strange. Yeah, it seemed a little longer than I had expected. Yeah. All right, what else we got? on raw all right we, we might as well just talk about it now what what oh the bray wyatt <laughs> thing yeah what has everybody been talking about yeah what is uh what brand is he affiliated with because the stupid night promo thing happened on raw and smackdown says he's on raw he's just right there no she's off the banner okay but yeah. she's still on the roster oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, i thought I you meant say, they no, took no, her no, off no, the roster no. all right it looks like heavy machinery is on smackdown i guess or they're gone Nah, I don't think so. Quietly released. Nah. nah. All right. Vince loves, loves so, himself some Otis. I guess so. He is funny. So, Bray Wyatt comes back. We should have... Well, I, I think we did figure those stupid box yeah, things yeah, were him. Yeah, yeah, it was supposed to be a buzzard. That, uh, yeah, which Merc- didn't make... It looks like a buzzard. It looks like dinosaur. Mm, Waylon Mercy. Yep. Good stuff. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, um... We, we knew this was coming, and it was like a Pee Wee's Playhouse yeah. type thing. Mm-hmm. Bray Wyatt was all smiley and um, saying Man. how. It's crazy the how much him and Bo Dallas look, look alike, alike now. now. Yeah. yeah. I agree. But I, I think this would have this would have worked perfectly for Bo Dallas. It would have. He's, you know, one of those conspiracy theory guys, yeah. and it. It, it just would have been right up his alley. Yeah, so Bray admits that he's been crap in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty much called himself a loser, yeah, right? basically. Yeah. Um, he took a chainsaw and cut up a cardboard cutout of himself, which was pretty funny. So, like, that thing was from, like, ten years ago. Uh, Not that long, but yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Hit Maybe five. The, the, he had, like you said, um, Mercy... Uh, the buzzard buzzard and then and the, abby the doll yeah that i think oh abby okay i didn't get the name or i should say i didn't catch the name when yeah. he was talking that but, makes uh, sense where they're gonna go with this that's gonna be interesting I think yeah it's almost got like two million views on youtube the clip because it is frightening <laughs> um but there's a lot of potential for them to screw this up because they'll probably end up dragging it out too long because they played the same exact clip two shows in a row. It was so weird on SmackDown. They had panned to the audience oh, as it the was mu- playing. The, and the you, audio wasn't and working. You just cut the audio Hilarious. Off. Like, so they just had a bunch Kevin of fans Dunn. watching a, a, a screen that wasn't mm-hmm. playing anything. It was great. Um, they were watching, though. They were. They were watching <laughs> intently. Probably confused. Um, so it was just... It was interesting. Yeah. It's just, was it. There's too much... Too much margin for error, especially with him. Yeah, but that's, I don't think that's... I know it's not his fault. Right, that's but all the, creative. It's, it's so. just like they can't figure it out. 
So I don't know. But at least they're trying something different. It's you true. You got to give them that. They're it is, not doing it the is same different. old tired gimmick. Where it is different. He's got so. the whole world in his hand. I just I feel I feel like it's just going to end up going around in a circle and just being the same thing. There's a good possibility of that because yeah, it's like they they're like oh let's try something new and then just gradually end up in the same, same exact spot. place that they were. Yeah. So it's like they have yeah. a broken wheel. Mm-hmm. Just goes pretty much yeah so um they fixed no they didn't fix that if anything they might have made it a little worse you think the it sucks either way it does however they should have went with the original name which one the berserkers Berserkers. i agree that would have been fantastic because the viking raiders is just as dumb as the viking experience and what's their finisher called i don't know the viking experience oh that makes sense at least (laughs) yeah so, but yeah, they faced um, Lucha House the, Party, which makes no sense. But that match didn't even start. Yeah. They just beat them up. They need another tag team on Raw. That's it. Yeah, uh, Becky beat up Alicia Fox, beat her with a disarmor, and then that Lacey... was not very good. Of course not. It. I don't know. I don't. I, I was kind of on board with the whole Lacey thing, and mm-hmm. then I don't know. I just feel like. Becky's not the right person to use to elevate somebody? Not now. Not now. I don't yeah. think that's the goal, though. But what are you going to do? Just have Becky win and then Lacey Evans just goes back into nothing? Have you watched wrestling before? Yeah, I have, but I don't know. I feel like you can't just... Becky Lynch has two matches at Money in the Bank. Yeah, I realize that. One against Lacey Evans, yes. one against Charlotte. Right. Lacey Evans is going to get squashed, yeah, I, and then Charlotte is going to have the actual match. Yeah, I realize that. But what's the point? What, what does this do for Lacey? It doesn't do anything, but they don't care. <laughs> That's the whole point. I know, it's very I'm, clear I'm, that I'm, they don't care. I'm not saying that. I just want to know. You know what the point is? What's the point? To make Becky look, look better. better. Yes. Okay, that's that's, that's, that's what they're going for. Yeah. They don't care about Lacey Evans. They don't care about any of the other women. Obviously. There's two marketable women according to WWE right now. It's true. It's Becky and Ronda. Mm-hmm. Charlotte's not even really up there right now. So I guess she's just her. Her and Bailey put on a very good match on they SmackDown. Did. They put on a very good match. But. The WWE doesn't care. They're using the fact that Charlotte is like the chosen one Mm -hmm. as an angle to get Becky over. It's not even helping Charlotte. I don't even know if it's helping Becky at this point. But you understand what I mean? Yeah, no, I get you. Because they're making it seem like Charlotte is being portrayed as the chosen one just to make the fans like them, like her less. Yeah. So it's like so backwards. Yeah. So, but yeah, whatever. But I don't know. Well, the Royal Women's Division is a disaster anyway. I think it's by design. Oh, absolutely. I know it doesn't make any sense, mm-hmm. but I, I think it's and intentional. Especially you have Nia Jax who's injured. Mm-hmm. She's going to be out for probably a year. Yeah, double knee surgery. Yeah. Uh, Tamina, she won't be on TV no. without Nia. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, Alexa's still in a non-wrestling role. Right. She had one match, right? If that. Yeah, I thought she had a match against Bailey. She beat her. Oh, yeah, that's right. She squashed Bailey right yeah. after WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have the Riot Squad, or well, part of them. Yeah, you have uh, Sarah and... Uh, Ruby. Yeah. Most consistent people on TV outside of, like, Baron Corbin. And yeah, it is, on TV for it, it is very funny that two, like, a stable and a singles competitor that are just seen as, like, just people that get beat up mm-hmm. are the ones who get the most focus. Very funny. Yeah. Um, but whatever. Yeah, I think on SmackDown this week, Liv was supposed to do something. She got snubbed. Somebody else got snubbed, too. But what are you going to do? Well, you, they did it's have two hours. They did have Mandy and Sonya come out for no reason. Mm-hmm. And then Jinder came out right after them. So Jinder. Uh, but I'm so glad that they... They got rid of uh, a women's match and cut short another segment to have Lars Sullivan come out and beat up Chad Gable right, so and the Singh brothers. Since you missed the opening portion of SmackDown, the uh, sweaty bastard was out there. Yeah, I believe what Shane came out and started ripping on Roman for yeah, uh, about, beat, yeah, punching Vince. Yeah, he was going to fire him and all this other nonsense. Yeah. 
He, he said, what kind of terrible person goes and assaults another man's father? <laughs> just started dying because yeah. he did that. To well, the obviously that I was know, intention. I know, it was just so good. Yeah. It's little things like that that, yeah. that go a long way. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I was worried for Shane and his health and all this other stuff. He wasn't sweating profusely, and he was slurring his words. He said and he meant to talk about the Mount Rushmore of wrestling, and he called it the Mount Mushmore of wrestling. <laughs> And then Corey made a jab at it later on in the evening, which was fantastic. But yeah, no, he was screwing up a lot. That's um, weird. Roman comes out. Elias comes out. They set up Elias versus Roman at Money in the Bank, which yeah. you probably saw that backstage segment. Yes, right? I did. And then oh, yeah, the yeah, two yeah. of them ran away mm-hmm. into the limo. And Now, I think a lot of people were worried about Roman going to SmackDown and it being the Roman show on SmackDown. But I think if they do like you had said and kept keep him out of the title picture for a while i think that'll benefit everybody it's true it's odd that they picked elias for his first feud but i guess it's okay and i it's okay because shane is involved i think probably because i'm i'd rather see shane as a proxy Mm -hmm. not not as a proxy having elias be a proxy for for shane yeah um and this way roman is feuding with a mcmahon that makes it easier for people to cheer right. for him. Yeah. A lot of people are bitching and complaining about that, him versus the authority or something like that. But it's, it's fine. I know it's fine. He's it's not, not going authority. after a title. It's not. They're not trying. Right, right. They're not Look, trying to do the um, Brian Daniel Bryan thing again. No, no, no. Because that's what they were doing the first time. Mm-hmm. So that went over so well. Yeah. Um. I mean, the only thing I'm disappointed about this is I figured Elias was going to be in the Money in the Bank match. I figured he would have. Uh, what does that benefit anybody? What do you mean, what does that benefit? Elias winning the money in the bank. You knew that wasn't going to happen. Ah, I don't know, man. There's not a whole lot of logical no, options I right know. now. Yeah, that's they're going to build a star, I think. I think that's what their goal is to do anyway, especially since uh, yeah. what happened last year. Oh, yeah, Baron Corbin. No, that was two no, years ago. That was two years ago, right? Yeah, right. last year it was Alexa Bliss and... Braun. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Braun won... Last year. Oh, he did. He cashed him for his match yeah. at Hell in a Cell, Oh yeah, is stupid. And then Brock screwed the match, and then did nothing happened. Yes, okay, that's right. Yeah. I'm like, that doesn't sound right. Braun never gonna... won the title. Yeah. That makes sense now. Because he... I, I was thinking <laughs> that stupid uh, world's... At the... No, I know. Mm. The world's greatest... Uh... Royal Rumble. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, that didn't mean anything. Um, yes, Braun won it last year. Yeah, I forgot about that. So I think their time to build a star is... Uh is now with yeah. this utilizing it for you know what they did in the past with it a handful of times anyway you think it's gonna be ricochet or alistair black i think there's a good chance it could be one of those it, i think ricochet is a must in that match oh no they'll both be in yeah, it. yeah, yeah. um i think that there's a chance they'll have like a surprise entrant mm-hmm. and maybe it would be like um no never mind because uh, Champa's hurt again, right? Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. he's probably going to be out for a, a while. Yeah, because I was going to say maybe one of them, one of the two of them, mm. but since Gargano's the NXT champion... Yeah, probably not. Um, I don't know. Maybe Cole. Yeah, it could it's be possible. a possible possibility. Um, uh, he would be a good person to have. Uh, set him up it at would, least next yeah. year or something like well, that. Well, I was going to say, if they have him like have as a surprise entrant and win it, mm. that brings undisputed era up without doing this stupid shake up nonsense yeah. that's enough i mean you know I'm, I'm a fan of stables and i just feel like i don't understand why they didn't, don't do that more often well the truth is that 99 percent of the time they fall flat well, the new day is the only one that's really the true, new day and the shield are the only ones that really but you have attraction. such a huge roster and such a limited amount of time you at least get people on screen it's at true. the same time and well that's why shinsuke rusev and lana are a thing that's now. true rusev in a suit yeah that was weird <laughs> so cesaro's on raw now he is did that happen on tv it did okay i didn't he see did. it faced uh cedric Rick, alexander uh yeah yeah that was weird it was it was he won with a an uppercut Oh, really? Yeah, Cedric That's... was up top, and he went to jump uh, off the top rope. So it was a super so, uppercut. Yeah. Um, but that was a good match. Yeah, that was... Yeah, I, I figured I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there, there's a whole lot of stuff that's up in the air. Yeah, and like Jinder, you had Jinder versus Chad Gable, which I texted and I said, didn't this match happen last year when they both went to Raw? A year ago. And it did. It did. Um, 
and then Lars came out, and the match never got underway, and oh, what are you doing? Like, I mean, why couldn't they just go the brawn route again, or just have him squash people? Yeah. And him power bombing a sing mm. makes it so clear how small he actually is. Because it it's just so funny. Because he's like lifting him up. I'm like, this guy's almost as tall as you. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's just he's just he wide. Just wide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So but whatever. Yeah, I, I just feel like this is all gonna fall flat. It will. It will. Because I don't see them... My biggest fear is that they put him in Money in the Bank, he wins it, and then he fails to cash in. It wasn't even in my mind, but now that you put it there, yeah. I hate you. Yeah, well, it's possible. Oh, he, he, would be right. a, he would be a monster heel that they can use, to, they can sick him on Kofi. Because mm-hmm. that was my thinking, that whoever won Money in the Bank would go after Seth, but I feel like if he would be the one who went after Kofi. Yeah, that's um, true. But whatever. Yep. Uh, let's see. Charlotte comes out complaining about uh, not actually losing her title. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Becky says that, you know, you agreed to the match. Right. You knew the stipulations going in. Yeah. And Bailey came out to get to the back of the line. Mm-hmm. And they had that good match we referenced yeah. before. Yeah, very good. Um, and Charlotte won. Yeah, which I found strange. So Be- uh, Charlotte will now be facing Becky at Money in the Bank. Yeah. Um. Or it could be a way where she beats Lacey and then loses to Charlotte, dropping the title. That's and, possible. And, you know. She's not losing is, the Raw belt. Probably not. No. Not that this is the route that they were going. I, I think that either she's going to have both of them or she's going to Raw. Yeah. One or the other. I don't think she's going to. to Raw, she can just be the big fish in the small pond. I think that's, that's kind of what I was thinking when I said that it was by design, having a weak division. Because yeah. it's super easy to just... If you have, and they did this with the Universal title, you have the big star mm-hmm. that nobody is anywhere near right. a match for on the one show. And on the other show, you have competitive matches like they did with AJ and Joe yeah, yeah, yeah. and AJ and Shinsuke, where it might not be like the star power, but you're putting on, you know, consistent matches. Yeah, yeah. Quality so matches, that could be yeah. their thought process because you have Charlotte versus Bailey. Charlotte versus Asuka, Charlotte versus Kyrie, mm-hmm. Charlotte versus whoever yeah, yeah. else is on there. It's true. So um, that oh, could we, be what their thought we is. I forgot to talk about the Finn versus Andrade rematch from, what, two weeks ago? Yeah. The last week. So Andrade beats him two weeks ago when Finn's leaving Raw. Yeah. And then Andrade goes, no, no, it was last, last week. week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Andrade goes back over <laughs> to SmackDown and loses. And loses. Yep. So, yeah, I guess it's a home field advantage thing. WWE 50 50 booking. No, this is, oh, okay. Well, so, <laughs> it doesn't matter because they're not going to be on the same show anymore. True. And then, oh, okay. I guess they're back on the same show again. I will just cancel out that win with his him winning. Yeah, 50 50 booking. Um, yeah. Uh, and then we have Kofi versus Shinsuke. And, I, and this is a prime example of what I was talking about with Kofi as your champion. You've got room for a ton of other guys to challenge him. Granted, this whole match was to set up the Kevin Owens heel turn. It was, yes. Because there's really nothing going on with uh, the match itself. Oh, no, no. It's um, fine. Uh, no, I know that. Match. But my, my point was, like, Shinsuke and Rusev are now the generic heels. Mm-hmm. They've become the Randy Ortons of, of SmackDown. Even though Randy Orton is on SmackDown. Yeah. Um, so, but that's, you know. You have him in Roman feud, too. Yeah, I said that last week. Did you? Yeah, I said that that would make sense for him. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, maybe that match was okay. You just have attacked Kofi and. Yeah, that threw the, the match out. So there's five yeah. minutes left. I'm like, something's yeah. gotta happen. Yeah. And, uh, Kevin Owens super kicks Kofi and, uh, turns on the new day. Yeah. That was we knew fast. It, we knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, I would have given it another week. Or two. If not more. Yeah, well. They could, we uh, I guess. Away, a little less than a month? From Money in the Bank? Yeah. Eh, three weeks. Is it, what is it, the 19th or something like that? Yeah, it's the 19th. So, if they did that, I would have been all right. Well, I guess you have to get some You still got to build it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It, it was one of those things where we knew it was going to happen, so we should enjoy what they're doing while it was. That's true. I did, I did enjoy uh, Big O. 
again, we've said it numerous times. The man does well in any position you put him in. True. Although I was kind of hoping for an actual face run. A little bit. Yeah. But what? as soon as you put I him mean, in a position... Kevin Owens, though. You know it's eventually just going to yeah. come to an end. Because they put him in like such an easy position to mm-hmm. turn. So, But whatever. It is sure. what it is. So. Yeah, so um, that they didn't set that match up yet, right? It's, money in the bank. It's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. Yeah, but, but they did not. No. Yeah, but Money in the Bank seems to be shaping up to be a pretty strong card. Yeah, well, you got the two matches. You got Seth and uh, AJ, mm-hmm. which should be good. You got Becky and or Becky with her two matches. Mm-hmm. Um, Raw tag titles probably. Yeah, I'm. I would I'm, imagine. Yeah. Actually, I would. It would be. Usos beaten. I was gonna say I'd Ryder be surprised if the Usos don't win the titles. Yeah. Um, and then the revival faces them, at, or we we push that back. Yeah. Um, SmackDown tag titles. The Hardys weren't even on SmackDown. No, I, I think. think Jeff suffered an injury at a house show. That's good. Yeah. So they might just quietly drop him then. So what are the tag teams that they have on SmackDown? Um, Shinsuke and Rusev. <laughs> it's possible. Where's yeah. the club? They're technically still on SmackDown. Are they? Yeah. Mm. Well, they weren't switched over to Raw. Well, I think the way it works is if you're not like specifically sent to the other show, mm. you're still on the same show. I guess that's true. So it's not like one of those drafts where it's like full on... Okay, this person they need to be assigned. It's just right. they didn't move. Yeah. So I don't know. They got they got to figure something better than this superstar shakeup thing. It's fine. It's just, it lacks the they excitement. Need to do, like, some trades and stuff like that. That also should get done over the course of the year. Right. Because right. the problem is the fact that they do it, but they don't do it. Mm. Like it happens, right, but right. they don't like Kane just magically showing up <laughs> on SmackDown true. or Raw. Yeah. Like whichever one he felt like it um and th- whatever the storyline was faced like if they like okay this is where we want this is what we want to do with like i'll use the can example okay you can take someone from smackdown put them on raw and saying oh they did a trade the only problem with that is the fact that they don't have brand like leadership anymore mm, that's true. so there's yeah, no yeah, one yeah. to do said trains so good point it it's they they took away the competition aspect and now it's just, okay, this is the show you're on. Yeah. It's not you're on this brand. It's this is the show yeah, you which, appear which you on. I thought they would have differentiated them more, considering one's going to be on a different network than the other and stuff like that. But Things could change. It's true. Um, but as as of right now, they're, they're, I don't think that they are meant to be perceived as separate entities anymore. They're just okay. I work on Monday nights. Yeah. And okay, this is I gonna be on... WWE on USA. This is gonna be WWE on Fox. Yeah, so it's gonna be the same. It's just the people on it are yeah. different. But which is how it's been for a while. Yeah. So it's not a surprise. Yeah. But yeah. I thought both shows were decent this week. Yeah, they weren't I bad. Enjoyed any them stretch. better than last week. I think. Yeah, just well, it was underwhelming. Yeah, last week was very flat. Yeah. Because it was supposed to be exciting, and mm-hmm. then a lot of stuff didn't work. Some of the flow didn't make any sense. It's true. Uh, yeah, so, but whatever. And yeah. So uh, that was episode 40 of our podcast. That is correct. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.